Hey you guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a detailed walk around of this door system. Now, you guys, a bunch of people have asked. If you've been here before, you know we have a whole drawer system series for how to build this thing, so you guys can go and check it out. But after we released that series, we got a bunch of requests saying, yeah, you revealed it, but you didn't go through the details. So today it's gonna be a relatively quick video, but I'm gonna walk you all the way through around this drawer system so you can get ideas for your own setup if you wanna build something like this. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name's Michael, founded Overland Bound quite a few years ago. We got a worldwide community that is here to help you guys to answer your questions about adventure travel because adventure is necessary, overlandbound.com, or just download our free app, Overland Bound 1, iOS, and Android. Now, let's take a look at this drawer system. Now, I'm not making it up. I am not making it up. I'm not just saying a bunch of people have asked. A bunch of people have actually asked. <laughs> so, let's take a look at the drawer system. All right, we're gonna talk about the back, the frame, the top, cargo, the components, the front, and the sleeping platform. So we're gonna cover all of that. First of all, the back, there's a lot of thought that went into the back here. It's fairly simple, but that's how we wanted it. So this bamboo surface, this is all bamboo. It is, a, it, it is uh, of course it's grass, it's not hard wood, but it is a very hard grass. The surface of this bamboo is called Surfix from a company called Festool, and I'll put another link in the description and you can just sand it down and reapply the surface in order to refinish it. It's very easy to refinish. You guys know it's gonna take some damage, so it's easy to refinish and it's very durable. Now, simplicity. We thought about trimming all of this and having a little trim back here, but then we thought, you know what? No, we just wanna be able to pull things out right away and that provides the maximum space. This is where our two chairs go. And these countersink screws go straight into the stainless steel three quarter inch frame. That's what we use. The box frame is three quarter inch stainless steel. It's relatively thin wall, but as you guys can see, this is not going anything anywhere. We have all the strength we need and that allowed the entire stainless steel frame to be only 22.563847 pounds. So the frame itself is relatively light. With everything, we're at about 250 is probably where this entire setup uh, weighs in. And that's with the wood, with the refrigerator, with the drawer slides, with the steel, with everything. That's about what the weight is. Now, these trim components, these are all made by Parnell in his shop. Now, if you go over to a website, if you write a real friendly email, I'll leave the link in the description. You might be able to get some of these components from Parnell because he's agreed to create some if you want to create this drawer system. The plans are also available. Thank you, Par to Parnell. And he also provided uh, um, blueprints that you can change dimensions if you're going to put this in a different kind of, of vehicle if you have those skills. So that's all available to you. Okay, so all these trim components were, were made. Moving along, we went with a horizontal Dometic CD30 30 quart refrigerator. The reason we went with this is because a couple of things. Uh, we live in moderation when we're on the road. We don't need a great big refrigerator. We put a couple of uh, uh, frosty beverages in there, a couple hunks of meat, some cheese, and that's about it. We also like the fact that having a horizontal refrigerator means it doesn't cut into our sleeping platform space. Otherwise, the refrigerator would be up to here. So that's why we went with that. Your electrical components, don't mess around. Be, be suspect of Amazon, get good stuff. If you get blue sea components, that stuff is made for marine, right? So for your yachts, your boats, your fancy stuff out there in salt water, it's durable. It's gonna last you for a super long time. So go with blue sea components, you won't regret it. Now, this is for the wagon pure line, uh, pure sine wave inverter. So if I need 110, I click that on. This panel comes off as we showed before and the inverter will slide right out that opening. Again, this faceplate was made by Parnell, but get good electronic components. The drawer. 
nice hardwood drawer. These slides are spendy. They, I got these from, um, it's called Ovis. I will leave the link in the description. You'll go there and you'll pick the slides that are right for you. These slides have a stop. So once they're out, they won't go back in and they've got two stops and one midway. And then it's stopped, of course, when it's all the way in. So there are all kinds of different drawer slides. The reason they're so expensive is because it has to hold the weight of a loaded drawer when it's all the way out this far, right? No flex. So it has to support a lot of weight. And this isn't light stuff. This is my tool roll. This is heavy. This is probably 167 pounds. I'm super strong, but it's not light, okay? It's a big drawer, and this is really the benefit of your organization and why you have a drawer system, is so you can have a place for everything, everything in its place, all right? Okay, that pretty much covers the back. Now, the top. So, not much to say with, about that, except, little pro tip, we split this down the center so that we could get the sides routed out just perfectly and then cut the final dimension in the center. And then we hid the center line with a cargo rail. This cargo rail system is available on Amazon. It's patented, so I don't believe there are any knockoffs. It's good quality stuff. Again, links in the description, but it has adjustable hold downs and there are all kinds of accessories that work with these rails, all right? So when you load stuff back here, You've got your first aid kit or what have you. Then you can just strap this down and you've got three rails on this design. Okay, so I did keep um, one of the storage containers, uh, one of the storage bins that is factory Toyota available. So I can put the, um, the, the faucet hose for this in storage or whatever else I want to. But I did think about putting drawers on the side, but with the inverter over here, the electronicals, this, the, the, the chairs here, I was only gonna uh, reclaim a, a very small amount of space. So I decided to go with a simpler design. That way it's gonna be more maintenance free. All right, so that is this area of the drawer system. Let's go and I will show you how the sleeping platform works. It's kind of awesome. Okay, so we had to make some choices, you guys. Uh, so Mike and I just got off the mountain and we shot our uh, things you want to bring with you if you want to have your vehicle ready um, for any kind of survival situations. So go check out that video. The reason I'm telling you guys that is this. First and foremost, so that you guys know why my truck's all dirty. It's still got its stuff everywhere. And secondarily, so you go watch more videos and like and subscribe. All right, so we had to make some choices. Uh, and what we decided was so that Miguel and our daughter Marisol could come with us, um, we're gonna keep this middle row seat. And so that dictated the design of the drawer system, right? I, I mean, we had to work around that. So I'm really happy with the solution that we came up with. I'm gonna show you how this works. The seat folds down and folds forward. Like that. Now, if you travel like this, boom, right? If you travel like this, you have store, you have all kinds of storage here if you want to use that. The way this setup works is that we got a hidden drawer right here that's behind the seat. And then all of these components, again, Parnell made these components. And this holds the sleeping platform in the, uh, in the slot. And then you see how it popped out? We've got springs at the back of the slot that are on the frame that hold this in here under tension and that way 
when you're going down the road, it's not gonna rattle. There's no way that's rattling, all right? So this cam holds it back against those springs, and then this here slides out. On each side of the slot, we've got super uh, uh, low friction HPQRPRT plastic. And so it just slides really easily. You can do this with one hand, all right? So that's super easy to bring out. Now, here we have the front supports and the front supports have a bracket in front of this seat. You pull this out, which I'm gonna show you. You pull this out, you put this in the bracket and then once it's out and in place, you reposition the cam and the top side of this cam offers, offers a third support on the platform. So the platform itself is rock solid. Let me show you how that works. These are held in by a magnet. So you can see it's just a piece of cabinet um, hardware. Push it in, clicks in place. It's held there by a magnet, right? Click it, it pops out, and you pull it out. That's simple. All right, now let's put the sleeping platform in place. I'll show you exactly how that works. But you can do this, one person can do this. All right, let's go. Okay, seats down, pull the platform out. Now the platform could have been longer by making this wider, but then my seats would have to be forward and I wouldn't be able to drive. So we made it just long enough to fit my height so that we can leave the platform up while we're driving. Okay, once it's out like this, it's got a couple of brackets. Again, these brackets are custom made. You just set those in place like that and now we have our supports. Put one on the other side. And then as a final step, I just move this cam again and it's right up underneath the bottom of the sleeping platform. So now, we have a full sleeping platform. Put our sleeping bags and pads up there. Now in the future, we might put a non-slip on here and uh, maybe even a permanent pad or something like that that's cut to fit. But for right now, we just put our sleeping pads up there and our, our sleeping bags. These brackets hold it in place, plenty of support. And that's how that works. Now, you might be curious, and because you guys wanna know all the details, I'm gonna show you what it's like to actually get up in here, okay? When it's time to go to bed, it's time to go to bed. We don't come in here and hang it out like a, like a cabin or like your tent because it's a small space. There isn't much space here. So pretty much when, when we're ready to turn in for the day, that's when we come into the platform. Do, 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 like that. Like that, I got my little pillow. I'm uh, six foot, three and a half i'm pretty tall I'm, I'm a tall guy and i'm fit so uh you know i'm kidding i'm about six one and so here's my here's my pillow i fit just fine just like this and that's how that works all right now in the morning 50 percent of the time i kick open the back door and just slide out the back that's what i do all right let's try and get out of here boom kick open the the front awning, now I got storage in my tailgate, so it's heavy. So I gotta be careful with that. Boom. Good morning. So that's how that works. And then, coffee is the first thing. Boom, just like that. And if I wanna hit the trail right now, I can just get in the driver's seat because I don't have to put the sleeping platform up. Now I know you guys want to learn more about the construction of this uh, door system. We got a whole series, so go and check them out. If you have questions about this, 
in the comments. I will answer your questions. If you really want to make sure I answer your questions, get our app, Overland Bound One, and write me a private message. I am Michael in the app, and I'll answer your questions. All right, you guys, adventure is necessary. Outfit, explore. See you in the next video.